He'll be okay. He didn't die. He'll just be like Angela, you know? Daniel? Where the fuck are you? Answer me! You see Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Yeah, eventually. You okay, Daniel? Where the fuck has he got to? Daniel, please answer me! Stay cool. We'll get him back. Easy to see. He was fighting for his life, but you didn't help him. Okay, but not bad. The battle, right? I managed to do it in in one go. So he didn't necessarily Daniel? die. Where are you, buddy? Andrew. Hey. He's here. You guys, I'm up here. Boy, am I happy to see you. Boy, you just At least come I'm up. not the only one damp and disheveled. <sighs> He's all right. There you go. There you go, boy. Glad you got out in one piece. You really were busted up for a second there, huh? <laughs> oh, no, it's happening. Now it's Angela's Angela's thing. And if you spotted that No wonder we were Angela. I knew it. I it had that. to be something to do with I knew it. So many symbols everywhere. Old car. An old car with a familiar looking sun symbol on its hood. Not familiar to me. Oh, not bad. We found quite... Yeah, we haven't found many secrets, but oh well. I bet there's more. Okay. Burn in hell. Nice. Release. We're trying Mr. to forget. I just saw this. Mr. Clark leaving the Little Hope Police Department yesterday. A line has been drawn under the tragic case of the Clark House fire. Onlookers watched as Anthony Clark, the only survivor of the blaze, was released from police Thursday afternoon. One onlooker said that poor boy, he must be going through hell right now. The Herald approached Mr. Clark for a comment, but he has not. Something, something. Blame Clark, who was found in a box of with a box of matches. Oh, with a box of matches in his hands at the scene for causing the fire. When Clark left, the little old police department passes were heard to. Oh my God! I can't believe. Okay, the Andrews passed from part one. The boy's name was Clark. He was the one who had the matches. So, the dad was having problems because the factory was shutting down, which is why the dad and the mom were fighting at home. Oh my god, now I realize. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Alright. Can I open the door? Can we just take the car and just leave? No? Okay. Now we gotta save Angela. Can she even go here? Will she die? No, she can't. Where were we supposed to go? Oh, yeah, here. Sorry, my bad. Didn't see. Sorry, bruv. What? You see that? This is a really good game, man, so Stay far. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Mm -hmm. She'll grab you. <laughs> I need it. Now everyone no is in. Is oh my god. What is this? You must die today. 
Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Don't oh my god! You're not fit! He killed an entire You're family! Wife. There is still fight in you! I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here! This oh. bastard! No one is safe! Okay, so Joseph, oh my god, he's gonna you drown renounce me. the devil and all his teachings. I got in no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'll tell this infects you in madness. Roy, you about six servants. We have to stop this. Yeah, now it's his turn. Confront Mary. Get away! You give me that! Look! See how this poor child is tormented. My ass! Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. He's just More switching swords. it every time. The devil must be crushed from within him. He will find a reason for everything. Bastard. Do not the fate of little orc rests in your hands. Oh no! You're crushing the men! Oh god! Yo! Okay, so now it's John's turn to die. He's gonna die. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? Oh my... I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move! <laughs> Oh my god, all of them! <laughs> hurry! I don't know! John, please hurry! Come on, you fucking ready! Whoa, 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 whoa! Bro, this is not easy, bro. It's moving! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill. Angela, come on. You got this, babe. Come on, you got this. Come on. Focus. Jesus Christ. Fight me. Fast. Oh my god, Lord! No, bro, no. Get inside! No, no, no! Fuck off! Holy shit, bro. Holy fucking shit. Fucked up. Like now. Yeah. Help me. Andrew! Andrew! I need you here. 
Help! Help! Huh? Oh my god, please. Oh no, it's one of these again. No, I have a bad feeling. No, 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 no. No, no, no. They didn't see it anymore. No, go away, go away. Just get away from there. We all know about this horror shit. Get away! Machan, no! Don't do this! Don't look! Just go! Hide! We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Yo, this, this shit's looks intense. Like down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. Four fifty nine in the morning. Where is this place, huh? Is this the courthouse? Premonition. <laughs> Holy shit. That's that's from a new game. It's the it's house of House of Ashes, I think. The new game. Starring Ashley Tisdale. No way. Wait, where did the rest go? Oh, there they are. How did they go? Wait, wait, wait. I can examine. Is, is that the same thing? Oh, it's the same thing. Sorry. Y'all, the game just is so intense, bro. She's here! <laughs> that music is so scary. You're gonna wanna see this. It's them. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. They're right there, bro. They're right there. We have no time to lose. The modern guide to successful parenting. We don't care about this shit. Or maybe we do. Parents unhappy with their own upbringing can overcompensate. They might not want their children to feel the same as they do about their own parents. They yearn to be friends with their offspring. So parents accept theories that encourage love as the solution to conflict. This leads to the belief that their children misbehave. They should not be angry or punish them, but instead indulge in every greater, in ever greater displays of love. Spoiling a child in this way has grave consequences. Children become demanding and disagreeable. Parents suppress anger at their child's behavior but cannot keep, keep a lid on their frustration until they explode, frightening and confusing the children. The parents feel guilty and at a loss of what to do, feeding a new cycle of misbehavior. The problem lies with parents trying to be patient when patience is exhausted and the child needs correction. They are indecisive or resolute <coughs> when firmness is required, if no one corrects him, the child will only escalate his behavior until his provocations becomes so serious that his parents snap. An eruption restores peace temporarily, but there is a danger in the aftermath. Parents who feel guilty at lose, losing their temper forget to give their child time to endure his punishment. Instead, they attempt to undo the correction by easing penalties. Discipline requires consistency. Both parents must hold the line against a rebellious child and punishments followed through. Should one parent relax their discipline because of laziness or guilt, they leave an opening for a naughty child to exploit, setting limits. Parents must set limits and indeed, a child prefers his parents to be, a, be firm provided they are also fair. This is essential training in getting on with other people. 
the, the music is distracting me. I'm getting scared. Without it, the child believes the world will conform to their demands and tantrums. Such spoiled children are often shocked by the real world and cannot cope in an environment that doesn't indulge their whims. They face becoming unpopular or learning the hard way how to socialize with others. Oh my god, the music is scaring me, you know. It's really scary. It reminds me of the nun. It's gonna come from here, it's gonna come from here, it's gonna come from here. Damn it, just leave us alone already. Fuck me. Where do I go? Bro, bro, where to go, bro? No, 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 we already saw. Where to go? Maybe we have to go back. Guys, please come back here. Jesus Christ, we... Oh my god. Oh my god, this is fucking creepy, bro. I don't even want to see. Get out of there! Get out of there! Woo! Oh my god, it's glitching so bad! And the music is so scary, it's terrifying me, I'm so scared! Oh god, yeah, she has that thing following her. Where do we go? Fuck. Fuck me, where to go? Yeah? Letter from Ref Carson. Is that the bastard? No, 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 let me see that, let me see that. Reverend Leonard Carson at St. Uh, Saint, Saint David's Church, September 9, 1971. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues. Oh my god, this place! And would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrew, Hebrews 12, I, I don't know how to read this, sorry guys. Says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction, Reverend Carson. This is their house! The house that caught fire! No wonder they are coming here! It's their home! Dear God! The key! Come on! That's a key! Get the key! Hey, get the key, da! The key! Not sure what that does, but... That means you can go upstairs in this house. Inspect. Bro, terrifying. Okay, get out of there. All of them are coming here. Oh my god, we have a big, big battle. We have something huge soon. Hey, Machan, don't open da. Go upstairs. What about this one? Have we been here? We cannot go here. Upstairs it is. Oh yeah, she went upstairs, right? Yeah. I did. 
can only be the girl. Let's go find her. They are all coming back to this house. She's leading them wherever she goes. They follow her. She's in here. I think. Stay here. Oh my god. Fucking sweaty, bro. I'm I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Oh my god. Papa. Stupid bitch. He knows I was about to confess all to the judge. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today he that is the bad guy. will be free of the devil's grasp. That's it. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? Oh, God. The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. They're just killing everyone at this we point. Look at this bastard. By child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. How are you going to but give back the lives? it has belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That Useless judge. So. Liar! Now this tame child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Yes. Yes. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. You made the decision to condemn Mary. You've got to let this run its course. No, you no. You have my intention to bring up to this town or its people. Then you don't help me. What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would. But now in her hour of greatest need, stop the, child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This Seek little... your counsel. Something wrong. No. Kava is evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver. He's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his not doing. deceive us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver no. is to blame. Ah, yeah. What must I do yeah. to bring little hope back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. I hope I did the right thing, man. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. GG, bro. That's the book! How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's fall! You will pay heavily for your crimes. I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. Just kill that bastard. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. I hope I did the right thing. Jeez. But I didn't save you. 
What? I can't believe it's finally over. No, it's not. You protected the girl and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. I don't think... Let's get out of here. I don't think it's done. Little hope sus. I don't think it's done. Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? I think finally... This whole nightmare is over. Or is it? <laughs> hmm? Not again, not again. They'll be on the balcony. He'll be at the window again. Why did he just leave them? Oh, bro, that's the freakiest thing I've seen here, lah. The freakiest thing. Time to fight. Oh my god, now he has to choose again. He killed them! What did I do just now that I don't think there was any way of saving They didn't give me options Again, he's back I am going to cry Why? Was it because of my past, past decisions? Why? Hey! I am so sad. I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. <gasps> Both of us been through some real tough times. Why didn't I realize? Years. Why didn't I realize it all? Oh my god! Okay, I know I had to pause here, but um, this is me right now, mid-editing, and I just realized that um, Anthony is actually still alive. He survived the fire, and uh, this black guy, I forgot his name, uh, since he is alive, so definitely Anthony is still alive, and is around the same age as this black guy. So, yeah, I can't believe I missed out such a big part of the story. I'm stupid. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. I am so sad. I wanted to save them all. No. I 
I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. I wanted to save them all! I didn't have That's options! You're not alone here. Take it easy on yourself. We've all been through hell, yeah, that, right? Finally getting out of this hell. Can't yourself right <laughs> Who's that? I just wish we all could have made it. What? See, now it made a ton of sense because the bus driver is actually indeed Anthony. As you can see, if you notice, he had this burn mark on his, um, burn scar on his um, ear. So, yeah, it's definitely Anthony. And I can't believe I didn't realize this while playing. Maybe it's because of the adrenaline. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm stupid. Probably just because I'm stupid. But here we are. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Oh, my God. You okay, I'm mind blown. You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. What the fuck? I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. <sighs> what the fuck? Yo. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's playing the whole thing as them? Hi there. How you doing? There's no one there. This man's got... Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Oh. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. That was John. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was... Hey. <laughs> you motherfucker, you! You take a goddamn shot at me! Quit hiding in there! Hey, cool it! I was... I was trying to help! There was Didn't no... You but... What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here! Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. See, now I finally understood that Anthony, he lost his entire family in a fire and the trauma was enough for him to relive the events, relive the, all the trauma for a long, long time. Even though he's so old now, I won't lie, I, I, kind, of, uh, I kind of cried when I, I rewatched this while editing. It was, it was sad, okay? And... I kind of relate goes to show how dangerous trauma can be and how much it affects someone and if you noticed he was initially in the bus when he got stopped by the police he seemed a bit um, anxious worried and that was because little hope was his um, hometown back then and yeah I swear to God, this is such a beautiful story. I love it so much. I'm going to shut up right now and just continue. Okay, sorry guys. Bye. He's out of his mind. It's amazing. Oh my God.
Oh my god. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. They're within Not you. A bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All you're doing. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can. He was me the, the whole time. Behind him. Oh my goodness. Until we meet again. Maybe in the Arabian desert. Yeah, House of Ashes. Maybe somewhere else. But we will meet again. I will see you again. At least one more time. I hope that's not the last though. I hope that's not the last time. Y'all gotta continue this shit, man. This is fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. I think I have to mute this. I don't know, but fuck it. You know, if they copyright claim, fuck it. Look, man. This game is fucking amazing. Way better than Man of Medan. I don't know what was up with Man of Man of Medan, but little hope, bleh, little hope was something else. Definitely. I just hold on, man. Let, let me just. Fucking amazing. That's all I can say. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> like never in a million years would I have thought. That was the, it was the bus driver reenacting and playing this out in his own head the whole time. The mind is fucking dangerous. Turns out the battle is from within. It's our own demons. Worth purchasing this game, seriously. I love it so much. I love it so much. I ah oh my god, I love it. I love it. I'm I'm sad that I couldn't save um Taylor Taylor and John, but now that I know that perhaps they never existed in the first place and they were not really playing it out there, and it was all the bus driver. I feel a little better. This is beautiful, man. Fucking beautiful. I just. I just want to wait to see if there's any end credits. I don't know. And after, after, oh my god, I cannot English. I'm too shocked. After credit scenes. Fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Y'all did an amazing job. If you ask me, amazing job. Skip to the end. Tell me this. You believe in God? Absolutely not. House of Ashes! We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. That's we Ashley's still, still by I the try. way. Hell, I don't believe in how it's there. In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes. Where they lived on dust and plagued by the demons of the underworld. Fucking amazing. We have finished the game. Oh my goodness, guys. We finally did it. It's amazing. I have no words anymore, okay? So, <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed every part of every episode. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you try the game out. It was fun. I loved it. And we'll meet again in the next video.
and the next video and the next video and the next video but what's important is we meet again so till then ciao bye bye have a great day we will see each other in the next video bye